So what's up YouTube, it's Carlisa Victoria. I am back with another video. I am on the way to the grocery store right now and I'm not gonna make this part super, super um, long. I don't even know if I'm gonna vlog in the grocery store, but I wanted to go ahead, oh, he's so cute. I wanted to go ahead and shoot this um, portion of my video real quick, just um, to let you guys know that I am going to the grocery store and I am aiming to get some things that will last me for a week for under 30 bucks. So. My budget is 30 bucks, max 35, um, but I'm really going for 30 just so I could get um, stuff to eat for the week. But if you guys really, really like are a minimalist type of person who eats like, now granted we get busy, we go out, we eat, we, you know what I mean? Just because of busyness and out. But if you focus on actually eating in home and you are an eat plant-based type of you know what I mean, um, lifestyle, or you don't eat as much, it is very possible to have a week supply of food to eat for 30 days, or 30 days, oh my gosh, for a week for $30. So I'm going to stop vlogging right here. Um, the next time I come back, I will be sharing. I don't know if I'm going to vlog in the store like I stated, so I'm either going to come back with store vlog, or I'm going to come back with a video showing after I purchased okay so what's up guys I'm back real quick with another quick video before I show you guys what I got when I get home but I did go into the store I spent about 45 bucks I know the budget was 30 but I bought some extra things like hold on For example, I bought a book that was $6, and this book literally, literally um, was just like five minutes to pray with Jesus or something like that. Five minutes of a woman's prayer, so I kind of bought that book um, just so that I can, you know, I've been looking for some little quick little devotionals that I can get closer to Christ just like in the morning or, you know, when I'm on the way to something, and I felt like that was pretty much something that was um, easy to... To, to purchase but also to be able to use so I picked that up so then I also picked up um some fruits and well not even so much fruits but more so like a little bit of veggies slash um bagel slash I'm gonna show you guys the haul when I get home but I definitely stayed within the 35 buck range when we exclude the unnecessary well i won't say they're unnecessary but a part of my grocery list so stay tuned and i will be showing you guys exactly what i got from the grocery store in about um i don't know like 10 minutes or so whenever i get home so stay tuned if you guys haven't watched my other videos then make sure you guys check out my channel on um Carlisa victoria everything on youtube on Instagram, all of my social media, you could just check me out at Carlisa Victoria, and I will link all of that information in the description box below. It's only your love or something, but why does it feel like it's true or something? We just vibe and we just crazy, baby. What's up, YouTube? It's Carlisa Victoria. I am back with the other portion of my video i literally just walked in the house so i haven't kicked my shoes off haven't taken my purse off i haven't done anything but hang my keys up and sit right down before i package my things or before i place my things into the refrigerator i wanted to come back with this segment of the video um okay pause anyway so as you guys seen the caption of the video you heard the beginning of the video what my goal was was to go in the grocery store and spend no more than 35 dollars 30 to 35 bucks i ended up spending 45 dollars i know i was 10 dollars over but here is why i was 10 dollars over now the reason i was 10 dollars over was because i bought a couple things that were not on the 30 dollar list for example i'm going to show you guys real quick what i bought that was not a part of the plan So get out my receipt I'm not sponsored by any of these products so don't um don't fool yourselves thinking that I am so I'm pulling out my receipt here and I want you guys to know and I went to of course Publix I did have to go to a specific Publix because they always have my groceries right um, so I'm just gonna show you guys my receipt it says 
Dang, it's so difficult to focus. But if you guys can see, you guys can see right there, it says $45.54. That's how much I spent. So let's run those receipts on taxes. So they say sales tax was 82 cents, please. Well, I saved $3.96 today, that was awesome. But let's go over what I bought that was not on the list in the prices of these items. So this right here, you guys probably can't see the receipt, so I kind of don't really want to keep showing, but I will. If you could see that, which you guys might not because of... Right here, it says $5.99. And it says that $5.99 was because I got... Um, it's a couple of the uh, choice books, which is this. Um, and as you guys can see on the back, it says choice books. Again, I'm not sponsored, but this is the five minute prayer plan for women, a guide to, to more focused prayer. I know that I have been wanting to pick up another um, devotional of some sort, just because I wanted something that, like I stated before, I just wanna be able to start my day with, other than the Bible, start my day with some positivity um, and to just be able to pray and thank God for being able to wake up. I don't like to get too far into religion on my channel, not because I'm not strong in what I believe, but because I am here to be um, an influencer. I am here to just speak to all people and I don't ever want them to think that religion is going to separate us from being able to watch our, my channel. So no matter what your beliefs are, um, all are respected in my book. I just want to share with you guys what I picked up for my belief system. So prayer plan for women. Um, this was $5.99, so $6. And then I'm going to tell you what my kombucha drink came up to. It was $3.69, so like after tax, tax, this was almost $4. Okay, so 4 plus 6 is 10. The budget was 35 bucks. I said 30 plus five, just because I wanted to make sure I had room for tax and anything that exceeded 30. So I hit that nail on the head, okay? I literally spent 35 bucks as it pertains to groceries. And the reason that I'm not counting this as groceries is because this is a single item that I intended to start drinking today. A lot of times when I drink my kombucha juices, I can't drink them in a full day, I don't know. Or I can't drink them in one setting. I don't know if it's just because the taste is just something that I can't just down um, in one setting. It takes me sips. Sometimes I'll sip off of this for two or three days. I was about to drink the one that's in my refrigerator, but I realized that it expired like three days ago or best used by. So I just went ahead and I'm tossing that. So I bought another one. Um, so let's see what did I get for my 35 bucks. So. I got baby spinach, which I always pay attention to the expiration dates, which is May 30th. So that means that I have roughly two weeks to tackle this. Less, a uh, little bit less than about 12 days or so, 13 days. But all of my dates are May 30 or June 1st. So I picked up two packs of spinach. I got these babies for like two for four. And then I picked up two bags of just the regular um, romaine lettuce. This was two for five. So we got nine dollars right here. But you see all that lettuce? I have lettuce to go in egg so I can make like scrambled eggs with um, not lettuce, um, spinach. I have spinach for my smoothies. I have spinach for my salad. Like spinach goes with everything, sis. So I have four spinach. I also picked up some plain bagels. Now, when I eat these, I like to, I mean, people like to eat bagels with cream cheese, but I also like to eat my bagels. Um, I like to toast them. I like to put a little bit of honey, a little bit of peanut butter, and some bananas just for a sweet, sweet taste. A lot of times I will follow this by a glass of orange juice or milk or something. Well, not milk, because I don't drink milk like that, but water or something like that to just quench my thirst. Even if I drink my orange juice off of, out of a mason jar that's not real full, I still like to have a smooth drink to follow behind this. And then, of course, afterwards, I'll drink water. But just to go with the consistent flow, I like to 
We'll do this as a snack or a breakfast, half a bagel. Um, honey, toasted honey. I mean, you could do, if you're big on butter or margin or olive butter or whatever, if you're big on that stuff, you can spread that first after you toast it, put some honey, um, well, put the peanut butter, then put the honey, then put the, um, cut up a little bit of the um, bananas. That's a good sweet tip if you guys don't want to be eating like sugar or you're like me and you don't keep the physical white sugar in your house. Um, so pick that up. The next thing I picked up, which I think that I have a sensitivity to gluten and probably dairy, which I haven't yet proven this or anything, but I'm going to find out. And I'm also going to do some evaluations within myself to see if this could be a problem. But um, for now, I went ahead and picked up my eggs, um, which are, these are cage-free eggs. These are um, vitamin D, B12, E, B2, B5, 125% um, NG of omega-3, 25% less saturated fat than regular eggs. These are vegetarian-fed hens. Um, so... They're vegan fed hens or vegetarian, whichever you want to call it, fed hens. And um, so these are really good. So on the. Uh oh. These expire June 20th. A lot of times, if I don't scramble these with some spinach or something to eat as a quick little, you know, meal shake up, then I like to boil these and I like to eat them as protein. So. Everybody has different preferences. Um, once my eggs get like to the expiration date, like say it's like a day over or maybe the last day and I don't want to eat them, then I turn it into a protein and a lot of times I wash my hair with raw avocados, eggs, all that good stuff, honey. So then the next thing, I have to put this stuff in the fridge so I have to hurry up. But the next thing are my bananas. As you guys can see, they're not all the way yellow yet. So they have about a day or two before they get there. And a lot of times in my bananas, like I told you, I can put it on my bagel, which you see two, three, four, five, six. So I have six bananas. I'm not eating one today, but when I just said a week's worth of food, I'm showing you guys like so far what I've shown you, we have breakfast, lunch, and possibly dinner in what I just showed you. Um, now, granted, I do have, um, do I have any more croutons? I don't always throw croutons in my salad. Sometimes I just literally just eat my salad and I may add a few like carrots, cucumbers. I have a cucumber in the refrigerator. But when I eat these salads, it's going to be all green. So I'll mix a little bit of spinach. I'll mix a little bit of romaine lettuce. I'm going to cut up my cucumber and I will throw me some salad dressing and that will be a meal. Now, the bananas can go on the bagel. The bananas can be eat at, uh, I can eat it whole as just something um, when I run to the gym or even coming back because it does well for my cramps. Um, and then I also could throw this in a smoothie as well, which I have green apples in the refrigerator as well to mix in with my smoothies. So we got a little concoction in that refrigerator. I'll be going out of town very soon. So I don't like, and I've just been having a lot to do. So I haven't been really filling up my refrigerator with a ton. Um, just because I know when you buy organic or you buy healthy, it tends to go quicker um, because it is like, it's, it's whole foods and it's not even whole foods, it's fresh. So fresh foods go fast, you know? It's produce, it's not like processed food that can sit around forever. No, this stuff goes quick. So I then bought my almond milk, which I always keep almond milk in my refrigerator because almond milk does some things for me. Almond milk, um, you can eat it in your, put it in your cereal and have it. I like almond milk because I do drink, um, like if I have a protein shake or something like that, this is a good mix. Um, to go with like my shape body shake or um, like I said cereal or even oatmeal sometimes if you want a thicker consistency or a different base than water you can add a little uh, almond milk into your concoction and then the next thing I went ahead and I bought I I used to dream about Chobani Greek yogurt coming out with like a shake form because I used to hate back in the day I always say back in the day like I'm 96 or something but back in the day, you know, when um, I was, when I tried Chobani, I didn't like it the first time. When I tried Chobani Greek yogurt, didn't like it, didn't like the consistency. It, It's either you like it or you don't. The first time I didn't like it. The second time I gave it a try. Uh, it's okay, but I know it's good for me. The third time, okay, I could do this. 
and then ever since I was just hooked. So I do get Chobani Greek yogurt and I remember headed to work or even getting to work trying to hurry up and make my um, Chobani yogurt with my oats and stuff like that and my cut up strawberries some mornings. I would try to hurry up and eat that before I left the house for work or um, try to eat it at my desk real quick when I used to, you know, work and stuff like that at, at this specific like job or my jobs in general when I used to have to do that. Um, and I used to just think, God, if they had this in the form of a drink. And lo and behold, I don't know if it was a couple years ago or whatever, I noticed I was in a 7-Eleven and I saw this sitting on the shelf. And I said, not Chobani. So I grabbed one to try it, been hooked. So I picked up two of these. You know, sometimes I drink these in the morning or something. These are definitely like a meal supplement for me. Maybe I'll eat a piece of fruit with it as well. Sometimes by itself though. And then I picked this up which this is a pack of four um, strawberry Chobani yogurt. I wanted strawberry banana um, ones because I like those as well, but there was no deal on the strawberry bananas. There was none in a four pack deal. So I went ahead and got the strawberries knowing that there's also mornings where I can cut up my um, banana, add some oats and eat my yogurt. So when it comes strawberry banana, it's fine because it already makes the concoction. But when it doesn't, um, I have that. So then my last and final thing that I picked up was this Green Wise Margarita Pizza. I know when you guys read it, you're thinking, oh, like margarita the drink, like that's disgusting. Trust me, it doesn't even taste like that when you eat it. But I love it because it, um, it basically is just like organic tomatoes, organic garlic, organic basil um, on this pizza. It's Green Wise, which is an organic brand, um, but you guys can see on the back. So there's no meat, as you guys know, I don't eat meat. Um, but that's what I picked up for 30 to 35 bucks when you add taxes included, 35 bucks, excluding my prayer book and my kombucha because, and I almost literally was so petty to tell the lady to ring those two on a separate uh, ticket just so I can prove to you guys that I spent 35 bucks. But I'm like, nah, y'all are not, you know, that judgmental. So y'all will believe me when I say these two things were in addition to what my initial goal was. So that's what I picked up for 35 bucks. What do you guys pick up? And, and let me just tell you, if you're somebody who, let me just run this by you real quick, sis. Say you're out all day. You picked up breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's just go, let's just say you probably picked up a cheap route, okay? I'm just not even gonna sit here and assume that most of you who watch are organic or vegan or plant-based or anything like that, if you are excellent. But let's just talk about the average American, what they would probably have done if they didn't eat at home. You might swing by McDonald's, you pick up your little, I don't know what they call it, the pancake platter, whatever they call it, that thing. You pick that up, what do you spend, like $8, $9, maybe 10? You go to lunch. You say, oh, I need to hurry up. So I'm going to, I already had McDonald's for breakfast. I'm going to get Chick-fil-A. What is that, 8 to $10? Oh, um, dinner time rolls around. Well, I had to eat fast food all day, so I kind of want me some good pasta from Outback. So then you pick up your pasta from Outback. That's going to run you like 20 bucks. You just spent 40 bucks. 40 bucks. You nearly just spent, I would say, 30 to 40 bucks on just getting your food for the day because you didn't have the time to cook, you didn't have time to be home, you didn't have time. And I think a lot of the problems with us is we do not pick the foods or we do not take the time to analyze the foods that we could actually have and consume during our days because we always feel like, oh, we're busy, we gotta pick something up on the go. But lo and behold, sis, I know if you're on the go, you can't always microwave things, but what can you do? You can take a nutritious bar, like I got a chewy up there. Sometimes when I'm out and about, I have my own tea and my own honey, like bags. So when I, you know, maybe if I stop somewhere and I ask for hot water, they're probably not gonna have herbal tea, so I already have my own teas. Also, my um, oatmeal. So if you're someone who works a regular nine to five job, or even if you're um, something like me, entrepreneur, you create your own schedule, but you need to run by your office or whatever, you might not have to be in the office every day, but when you do run there, you're not trying to go run back and go get food and come back or waste any money. I have um, oatmeals on top of my refrigerator that these are instant packs. I can just go heat that up in the office and sit down and get on my laptop. 
and come and go as I please. Also, um, water, beverage, always take me a canister. My canister is over there. I'm not going to go pick it up, but I always have a water canister with me because I already left my house with it full. And then if I go somewhere that has filtered water or, you know, they have some type of whatever, I can just fill my canister back up. So keep your water canister with you because that's probably going to save you a lot when it comes down to your water. Even though places like Starbucks, you can get free water. Um, Dunkin' Donuts, sometimes they'll give it to you free. Other times they'll tell you it's about 25 cents, which is, it's worth the gamble. That's like 32 ounces for 25 cents. Like, dude, a water bottle less than that is going to cost you three bucks. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things that you actually can do that can help with your budgeting. For me, I don't know about your personal goals, but I have some personal goals that I am trying to accomplish and I'm not going to display them right now. I have been debating if I'm going to stay away from YouTube, like personally, well, not permanently, but personally, I'm going through a phase where I literally just need to get in seclusion and do what I need to do. So it's going to cause me to take to kind of bounce back from a lot of things so that I can focus on those goals. But I know that a goal of mine is to actively be on my channel and to grow my channel so i don't think that i'm going to cut this out of the equation because it's a part of my goals for growth so just stay tuned i'll definitely be back with some info on that but as far as me we have six months almost left of the year i'm doing my best to be as minimal as i can in my spending habits and also being more considerate of preparing my food at home now, granted, people think, oh, you eat plant-based, so it's easy. It's not. Um, I mean, it is when you're in the circumstances, when you were in, if you were in the circumstances I was, which is getting sick off of almost everything you eat, you just naturally, it's just, you're going to do it. No matter how hard it is, you just don't feel like keep getting sick, so you just make a change. But when you are eating plant-based, because there is still a lot of things that are not an exception, it's easy to find yourself either gaining weight or eating too much because you're not eating meat. You're not eating any of these things. So if I ate three chewy bars, if I ate three chewy bars, I'm definitely eating, um, uh, what, 300 calories? Meanwhile, I'm not eating any meat. I'm not eating any steak. I'm not eating any red meat. So I did not just get those calories. So I feel like you will find a supplement of something else and what you decide to supplement that could make or break you being a plant-based um, person it could either cause you to gain unnecessary weight uh get stubborn belly fat get stubborn so many different things that could happen as in anything else but it's all about portion control it's all about what you eat that goes in your body it's about how you sleep, how you train, how you, it's an array of things that I'm not going to get into because that's not what this video is about, but that's everything that I picked up. And, um, yeah, this is going to get me through at least a week. But like when I look at this stuff, I could tell you that at least two salad bags will get through this week. The other two, they may last next week. My milk is not going to be gone. The pizza, um, that might be gone if I ate it this week. Cause I'm going to, I cut that and I can eat that into two or three meals. The bananas will last me about a week because I don't want house flies, fruit flies, whatever they're called. And then my bagels, that that I'm going half on the bagels. I'm not eating whole bagels. Like it'll be half and some fruit. So that could take me until next week. It all depends on how often I eat my bagels. My yogurts more than likely will take me through this week plus my two drinks. So that's like six. And then um, what else do we have? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. This video is going to be about 25 to 30 minutes in length. But if you have time, watch it. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. I will post this video up tonight. So if you guys have been looking for another video from Wa, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. How to spend 35 bucks and get a week's worth of food. Talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. So what's up YouTube? It's Carlisa Victoria. I am back with another video. I am on the way to the grocery store right now and I'm not gonna make this part super, super um, long. I don't even know if I'm gonna vlog in the grocery store, but I wanted to go ahead. Oh, he's so cute. I wanted to go ahead and shoot this um, portion of my video real quick. Just um, to let you guys know that I am going to the grocery store and I am aiming to get some things that will last me for a week. For under 30 bucks so 
My budget is 30 bucks, max 35. Um, but I'm really going for 30 just so I could get um stuff to eat for the week. But if you guys really, really like are a minimalist type of person who eats like now granted we get busy, we go out, we eat, we you know what I mean, just because of busyness and out but if you focus on actually eating in home and you are an eat plant-based type of you know what I mean um lifestyle or you don't eat as much it is very possible to have a week supply of food to eat for 30 days or 30 days oh my gosh for a week for 30 dollars so I'm gonna stop vlogging right here um the next time I come back I will be sharing I don't know if I'm gonna vlog in the store like I stated so I'm either going to come back with store vlog or I'm going to come back with a video showing after I purchased. It's only 11 something.